former health administrator uh, Anutin was facing a law case that has since been rejected by the Supreme Court. So, uh, the Supreme Administrative Court has put an end to a lawsuit targeting the former Minister of Public Health, Kun Anutin, over his legislation of cannabis. The plaintiffs, who took legal action against the former minister, have been categorically defined as not being direct victims of the legalization of cannabis. Hence, their case has been dismissed. The news follows in the wake of the Administrative Court's earlier decision, which also dismissed the case, effectively taking it off the legal radar. Uh, Dr. Smith Srisunt, the president of the Forensic Physician Association in Thailand, along with six opposition MPs of the previous administration were the plaintiffs who set the wheels of this case in motion. They protested in court against former Minister of Public Health Newton and two other individuals claiming their decision to remove cannabis from the national list of narcotics was against the law. However, the court has put a halt to this cannabis lawsuit, stating that it cannot be pursued any further in the administrative court. The reasoning behind this is the plaintiff's lack of direct victim status. The court emphasized that the plaintiffs are not considered direct victims of the legalization of cannabis, thus nullifying their right to file the case. A Newton has been a long, strong supporter of cannabis and was integral in its legalization. After the plant was declassified as a drug and growth and sales were legalized with very little regulation or oversight, many considered it a blunder. But Anutin was unfazed. He shrugged off the attempt to criminalize the herb again last year, saying that the debate over cannabis is decided and done. Opponents of legalization continue to push for cannabis to be reclassified as a type 5 narcotic, which would be under the purview of the Office of Narcotics Control Board. But Anutin says that cannabis legalization is for medical purposes and will not lead to an increase in illegal use by underage people. Last week, Anutin reconfirmed his commitment, calling for the continuation of current medical cannabis policy under the incoming health ministership. He asserts that, if used correctly, cannabis provides immense benefits to users. Yeah, so just another sign that uh, cannabis is here to stay in Thailand. Uh, this this court case brought brought about by uh, opposition MPs to uh, opposition to Anutin uh, has been dismissed. Uh, pretty funny court case, too. Uh, the whole point was that they have to be direct victims of whatever the law was passed. And uh, again, I don't know how other people using cannabis makes you a victim of it. It's one of those things, well, a bit of a live and let live kind of policy. And uh, it seems that this case has been put to bed. Uh, less controversy in that industry. Uh, we'll see how it continues with the new administration coming in and what kind of policies they'll enact for the future of this massive, booming industry.